we going to discuss about the cymos inflorescence in reproductive morphology in plant morphology and taxonomy of angiosperms cymos inflorescence so in racemos the growth is indeterminate that is unlimited but in cymos the growth is determined in the main axis with the floret so it so the growth is arrested here and the growth takes place in the axillary buds buds okay so the older flowers are seen at the apex and the younger flowers at the lower region that is at the base you can see the older flower flowers here and the younger flowers below so the older flowers at the top and the younger flowers at the uh, base okay such type of arrangement is called base petal succession or the opening of the flower the older flower first open that is from center to periphery this is known as centrifugal opening so we will see the types of cymos inflorescence simple raceme monocacial zyme simple dicacium polycacial zyme so in monocacial zyme it is again divided into helicoid and scarpioid so first we will see the simple zyme which is solitary solitary means alone so in the determinant inflorescence that is in cymos inflorescence it has only one flower that is the single flower whether it can be present in the terminal this is the tip region here the, the tip region here or at the angle of the leaf like that it arises means it is called terminally inflorescence or axillary inflorescence for terminal tri trillium grandiflorum is the example for axillary is hibiscus you can remember the axillary one alone that is hibiscus okay and the next one is monocacial zyme uniparous type so the main axis ends with the flower and it has two lateral bracts the one branch grows further okay i, I show here so this is the main axis the main axis ends with the flower but the, this is the lateral branch the lateral branch grows and it forms branches so only one side it grows and forms the branches such type it is called as monocacial zyme again, again this monocacial zyme is divided into helicoid and scorpioid zyme first we will see the helicoid zyme so helicoid is the main axis develop in the main axis you have a floret and the lateral branch develop this side that is the lateral branch develops at only one side and it forms a helical appearance so it forms like this and here and this and this again here so it, how it becomes it it looks like a yeah, helical coilings like structure example hemelia and potato you can see this like of this type of arrangement so this is the main axis with a flower and the lateral branch develops here with a flower and again the lower branch and again this side and again so if you see in the picture it looks like a coiling like structure the flower looks like a coiling like structure that you can see in the hemelia and potato scorpioid design so the axis that is this is the main axis the main axis alternate with each other so this one and here one this one like this it is alternating takes place so this alternate it alternate shows the coiling structure looks like a scorpion tail how the scorpion tail will uh, uh, will um, coiled so like that it appearance so it is called scorpioid zyme example heliotropum next simple dicacious biparous so biparous means the central axis has a flower that is this is the central axis and it has a floret here and from the lateral branch you can see the two lateral buds the two lateral buds from that a floret arises so such type the such type it forms a whole inflorescence unit zymos inflorescence unit example is jasmine jasminium jasmine flower compound dicacium so compound dicacium means at the main axis you have a terminal bud that is terminal floret is here from the branches you have the compound structure like so it looks like a compound 
dicasial zyme. So the simple zyme, but this is one simple zyme and this is simple zyme, but that is simple dicasium, but whole you can see means it looks like a compound structure, okay. So the full it is considered as one inflorescence and it is seen, said to be as compound dicasium. So example clerodendron. So clerodendron and in simple a small simple dicasium. This is a small simple dicasium which is called zymule. Polycasial zyme. So in polycasial zyme. So this is one type. And so here you can see compound. This one and this one branch. But in uh, polycasial. So here this is this, this one, this one and this one forms one type and this side one type and this side one type. So many polycasial zymes arises from the branches. So example nerium, 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 okay. So sympodial zyme. In monocasial zyme, the successive axis at first developed in a zigzag manner. So sympodial means the may, that is uh, uh, the first that is the first um, uh, developed the, into a zigzag like a zigzag or order the manner it develops uh, and after that this is the pseudo axis this is the pseudo axis developed straight so first the main axis developed into um, a zigzag order the zigzag order and the pseudo axis developed uh, straight so example uh, the example is solanum americanum you can see this type of mode of symphodial side Hope you understand the topic. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. If you want to watch the video in Tamil, I had given the link in the description box. You can go and watch it. If you like the video, give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.